There's nothing quite like eating food in Mexico City. Sure, they've got tacos. And don't get me wrong, the tacos are amazing. But Mexico City is far more than that. Whether it's from a street vendor or a really high-end market, there's something here for everyone to enjoy. And it's no wonder that people from all over the world come to visit Mexico City just for the food. And that's what this video is all about. So today, this video is all about food. <laughs> Our favorite. Watch out for the sign. So. A lot of low hanging signs. <laughs> And if you see us change outfits or our attitude changes throughout this video, it's because we filmed it over many days. So we can't eat all this in one day. This is over the course of our entire month here in Mexico City. All right, so let's go. Supposedly they open eight to noon. My understanding is that they don't always make it to noon because it's always so busy. 8.09 and there's already a line down the sidewalk. Fifty pesos for this giant sandwich here. Exact name will go on the screen. They pointed at two different things, and I didn't know what he said. I couldn't hear him over the saran wrap, so I just pointed to one. I have no idea what I just ordered. I wish I could tell y'all. It's chicken. <laughs> I just feel like chicken's the easy answer. Like, oh, it must be chicken. <laughs> no good. Mm. It's got like beans and a little hot sauce in it. You can see it. The perfect combination of just a bunch of stuff, and it works really well. The reason why these are so popular is they're super easy to grab and go. Quick, easy, you're in and out. And it's sort of like comfort food. So if you want to carbo load early in the morning, this is for you. Oh, yeah, that's good. I think we stood in line five minutes, and there were probably eight groups ahead of us. I mean, they move you through. They only had two different options. 50 pesos each, so they pointed at one, you told them which one you wanted, and then they would hand it to you. Super fast process, cash only. Make sure you bring pesos. But, oh my gosh. This is too convenient. I'm glad we didn't come here earlier. We don't usually eat breakfast, and this is like, ah. That bread was crisp on the outside, soft on the inside. It was very good. If I could give a star rating, I would say that was probably four and a half out of five. Really good bread. All right, good morning. We are at Mercado San Juan today. This is a market inside Mexico City and it's supposed to be one of the best. So we brought our friend Todd along. Todd, you wanna go say hi? <laughs> hey, I'm Todd from Todd's Mexico. Let's check it out. So Todd reached out. He knows the food scene in Mexico very well. So he said, we need to hang out with you, show us the best spots. And he actually has previously done a video on this market before when we watched and we said, we want to go there too. So Todd, are we going to eat weird food today? Oh uh, yeah, you guys are. <laughs> 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 so we probably should have brought the Pepto-Bismol with us, but we'll have to stop and get some later, I guess. For now, we're going to be adventurous and try a lot of different foods. So let's go. That's an ostrich egg. <laughs> They're more fragile filling than I thought. We're gonna warn you right now, if you're a vegan, this may not be the episode for you. Is that a tongue? It is a tongue? Wow. <laughs> Mercado San Juan is a different market than most. Sure, they sell typical Mexican cuisine, but they also sell high-end exotic food, like these insects. Take your scorpion. Oh, the, that one's fine. You went for a little one? Good? Yeah. <laughs> Gracias. Hey. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to all around Mexico. 
I'm all, my mouth is already dry because I'm not in, I'm not looking forward to this. So I have a scorpion. Wait, there's no poison in this, is there? No, they, they, they take all the poison out. If you don't see me in the next video, then you know why. It's a scorpion, and then they put some of the uh, chili powder on it. Hopefully to disguise the real taste of what a scorpion tastes like. So, all right, here we go. Oh. You went for it. It's like really bad popcorn. It's not as bad as I thought. In order to get the taste out of my mouth, what is this? Mascal. Mascal. I'm gonna wash it down with Moscow. Mascal. Mascal. <laughs> Two shots of vodka. It's 8 a.m. and I'm ready to go. <laughs> right. I don't know why I ordered so many. Like I thought I was just gonna feast on vodka. <laughs> I feel like the Lion King right now where they turn over the log and... Hey, this looks like a good spot to rustle up some grub. Mm. Tastes like chicken. I got a chocolate covered scorpion because I'll eat anything if it's covered in chocolate. Chris ate it in one bite. I don't know if I can do that. Should I just do it? Nutty tasting. Interesting. All right. I need water. All right. Now this guy, he looks like popcorn to me. Like, you know, those little ricey pop kind of things? Why am I the only one trying all this? All right. That's pretty good. You could have bought a bag of those from the movies and just sit there and eat them. I hope I don't spit this. It's strong, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's strong. <laughs> I'll wake you up on a Saturday morning. <laughs> it's so good. Move in. <laughs> All right, last and certainly not least because Sarah said that uh, she wasn't feeling this bug. They don't know what type of bug this is. Actually, they do, but I don't know what type of bug this is. I'm just gonna pop it in. That's tangy. That's really tangy. I give that a thumbs up. I give it like three stars. Yeah. So that was 330 pesos. So that's our most expensive breakfast yet. <laughs> If you ever thought that the movie theater food was expensive, you need to come eat bugs here in Mexico. All right, now that we've eaten some more exotic type foods, we're gonna get some more, what we think of when we think of Mexican food. I think the first stop is a giant quesadilla called a machata. Machata, right? Machata. It looks like machete, but it's not machete. Let's go. I may have just fallen in love with a new food. I haven't even tried it yet, but they described it as a giant quesadilla. In which case, I said sold. It's got tortillas, it's got cheese, and it looks like it's got some meat on it, so we're gonna be very happy people by the time this day's over. They're called machetes. She's scooping extra oil on top of it. That's exactly what I need. I know. She's like, what? <laughs> she knows what she's doing. She's so smooth about flipping this. I can't even flip a little mini pancake and she's over there. Some giant gate via just like, <laughs> Somebody just cut into theirs a second ago with another table across and then she pulled it apart and all this cheese came out and it looked so good. I'm guessing this is like Mexican comfort food, okay? Is it? I mean, it's a quesadilla, but it's just 
enormous. It's like yeah. a hibiscus. Oh. I have not had any since I've been here. My, uh... Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Orchata. Orchata. It's like all the cream that you put in a chai latte. <laughs> you know what makes it sweet? It's so good. It's almost like a milkshake. Aquí tiene. Gracias. Look, look how long this is. Okay. Showing like. It's got our machete. This is the beef. Look how long it, that is. That's uh, one, two, two and a half feet long. Four dollars. Eighty pesos for four dollars. Really, yeah. really <laughs> hot. I'll put half. <laughs> really hot. You guys might want to try that. I'm going to try, <laughs> I'm try a little bit, yeah, before I commit. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> That's hot. You really committed there on that. <laughs> Alright, ready? That's good. It's got a little bit of spice on it. It's not spicy, but it's got a nice flavor to it. Some onions. Yum. This is home now. Never leaving Mexico. <laughs> so much better than some <laughs> Subway's uh, yeah. foot long doesn't have anything on this. This is over half. I have 75% of this. So much food. I put some green sauce on here. I'm gonna see, this is the mild compared to the, the hot sauce, so. It adds a little kick to this. There's already a kick to the chicken. Again, we're very bland people, so any spice melts us away. Got a little hot taco melt here. As Mexicans, they like taco. Mm -hmm. But they don't see it like as a taco. Like, right. They don't compare it like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what you're that. going to get. I don't think I would consider McDonald's like a hamburger either. You know what I mean? Like it's hardly like a good hamburger. Yeah. <laughs> so just behind the restaurant is their store, which has a ton of Air Jordans. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. Hello, how you doing? No, I'm not a newbie. In fact, check the discography. A lot of people knew me from back when I was honestly a prodigy. But who's keeping track? It's hard to be mad. It's hard not to laugh at all these artists out here posing like they color me bad. It's all just a fact. Most of the hype is the... So if you are wanting quesadillas on the street and then you're like, hey, I have a hankering to buy some really cool sneakers, come to this place because this is really cool. We're not big sneaker heads, but apparently the owner here went to Los Angeles, got inspired by some of the shoe stores, and said, hey, behind the, our restaurant, we're gonna sell some tennis shoes. That really is. So we got here at about 11 a.m. And there were some people here, but not crazy. And now there's a line. Worth it. Worth? Worth You've got some of it on your camera right now. Oh, there's a piece of quesadilla on the camera? Oh, gross. I, there's no shame in that. This food is, this food was incredible. Incredible. Oh. So, I will do these again. I, yeah. yep. So if you want like really crisp tortillas, like really good spiced chicken, man, this place is for you. Yeah, they're flour tortillas. We didn't mention that earlier. So most like the tacos and stuff we've been having, they've been corn tortillas and they've been fresh and they've been delicious. This is the first time I've had fresh flour tortillas in Mexico. And oh my goodness, they were so thick and the way they fried them, they were crunchy. And I think it's gonna be nap time here in a few minutes. Oh. And look, if you wanna buy tennis shoes, by all means, come to this location. All right, we're gonna go with Todd to another restaurant. So let's go. After eating two feet of quesadillas, there's obviously more room in our stomachs, so we have to fill it up with ice cream. It's warm out here. I need, I need ice cream, right? <laughs> so Todd said that this was the best ice cream in all of Mexico City. That's very high standards right now. Flav flavors here are very deep and like, like very accurate. Okay. Like, 
Oh, mint. Yeah, Chris, you want it? <laughs> you like that's good. Wow. Mame and mango, I think. Mame is that. It's really good. Oh, Chocolate and almond? Oh, you can't have that. I can. <laughs> you can have this one then. I thought that was mine. I gotta have some too. Wow. It's really chocolatey good. Which one is this? Mame. Oh. Oh, my gosh. It's a fruit? Mame? Mame is a fruit. Yeah. Mame? It's like a papaya, but it's smaller. You're gonna like that. That's so creamy. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> gotta make a decision to actually buy something. They're all so good. Like, genuinely, really good. Like, they don't have to have a lot of candy in them and that kind of thing. They're just the fruits and the chocolates are so strong and quality. He can't eat that. Yeah, he can't eat that one. How many I... samples is that? <laughs> <laughs> now. After five, you Your, your mango is very good. I may have sampled it already. <laughs> I'm sorry you can't try that chocolate one. That's good. I got the one with the almonds in it. it may have been intentional. <laughs> so I got two. I got the chocolate with the almond in it. And then I got queso. I didn't actually try the queso, a sample of it. But I'm being brave and wondering, what does queso ice cream taste like? Todd said it tastes a little bit like cheesecake. So I'm hoping it's more of like a cream cheese and not a cheddar cheese. <laughs> yeah, that'll be more cream cheese. <laughs> Cold cheddar cheese. Comes with some nachos on top instead of a waffle cone. So I got mango and Oreo because Oreo ice cream is the best ice cream there is, but mango should be good on top. Todd said that it was a really interesting combination. Interesting means he wouldn't have gotten it. That is really good ice cream. So good. Really good ice cream. So Todd pointed out before we even got here, he's like the consistency of their ice cream is so good. And he's right, but it's like almost like brownie batter. It's just so thick and so creamy. It's just, look at that. It's like sticky. It's so good. You feeling good today? Yes, I am feeling good. Quesadilla is followed up by ice cream. Mexico knows how to eat. One thing that we absolutely love is finding places like this ice cream place. From the outside, it's really small and you would look at it and just kind of walk on past and maybe not even take notice of it. But hands down, that is some of the best ice cream that I've ever had. And we wouldn't have stopped, but the locals here said, you gotta go. So make sure when you come to Mexico City, get some ice cream here. It's, it's worth the stop. This is the part of the video where we're saying goodbye to Todd. He's going to the Hammer Festival, which I'm really jealous of right now. We'll put a link to his old video and he's gonna shoot a new one. So make sure you sub to him so you can see some new food in Mexico City and exploding hammers because that sounds like a good channel to me. So while we were filming our video today, Todd was filming his top 10 street foods in Mexico City, right? Is that right? Yeah, so that video is gonna be out a few weeks after ours probably. Is that about right? Cool, so look that up. He knows all the good spots. These two together, they've been hitting up all the good stuff. So thank you guys for showing us around today. All right, okay. see you guys. Bye y'all. The perfect way to start this day out is with a donut. <laughs> Today we're in Roma, which is 
or Roman Norte, which is one of the neighborhoods here in Mexico City. And it's known as like the hipster neighborhood. A lot of uh, tourists, <laughs> yeah, a lot of hipsters, a lot of food, coffee. I, we're just gonna explore today. So the first stop is this place and we found it on Somebody Feed Bill, which has turned into being one of our favorite shows. <laughs> but he had a Mexico City episode and went to this bakery. So naturally we have to go too. After waiting in that long line, we finally have a donut. Anything in this pastry shop, it looked amazing. All the cookies, all the bread. So I'm excited to dive into this. If anybody knows what this fruit is, please drop it in the comments below. I feel like I should know it. We've had it since we've been here, and I still don't know what fruit it is. I feel sort of dumb for not knowing that. I'm gonna try it now. It's really good. It's not tropical. I thought it was something like a tropical leaf. It's not, it's really subtle. It's sweet, very sweet. And we just got to the filling in there. See it? I have another bite. <laughs> so the frosting almost tastes like green tea or matcha or something. Like, so I wonder if it's like a green tea frosting and then the fruit is on the inside. I bet that's what that is. You try it. It's really good. You're gonna like that. Oh, interesting. It tastes like green tea. Yeah, it's like, yeah, this tastes like green tea and then inside it tastes like guava. I don't know. But this is a donut full of. Tasty secrets. So this is the plain donut. It's got sugar on the outside, great soft dough, and a nice super sweet filling on the inside. So everybody's getting all sorts of pastries here, but when we saw the Somebody Feed Phil episode, he got donuts here, and y'all know we love donuts. And if we can find a donut in Mexico, like by all means, we're gonna go and get it. So today we got donuts. It's so good. I like. Everybody here is a tourist. That's the only downside to it. It's definitely not a place that the locals go all the time but it's worth it, stand in the line, get the pastries, there's a reason it's popular. All right, we are at El Tizoncito, which is, they claim to be the original tacos al pastor which is, if you're not familiar with that, it's pork shoulder, classic Mexico City food. So they claim to be the original. This has been here since 1966. Um, one of the best tacos al pastor to this day in Mexico City. It's our first time here, but I was like, you've got to go there, especially since we're staying in Condesa. This is in the Condesa neighborhood, and I'm so excited. Chris just got a shot of it spinning around. The man's just shaving the meat off, and it looks delicious. So. We both got, or we both got drinks. So I got horchata, because I love horchata. <laughs> and then Chris got uh, Jamaica, which it looks like Jamaica. And stupid me, it was like Jamaica. I'm like, I know better. The J sounds like an H in Spanish. It's Jamaica, um, which is, it kind of has like a cranberry juice tartness to it, but I believe it's hibiscus. So it's got this florally, but yet almost berry type juice. It's like an agua fresca. So it's, it's a good alternative, like a sugary soda. So Chris, you need to try this. I'm gonna get you trying it. I like it. It's a little, it's a little more tart than I was expecting, but in a good refreshing sort of way. It's not overly sweet. And this Jamaica stuff, I know it's not Jamaica. It's Jamaica, Jamaica. This, this stuff right here, it tastes like high C, like punch. It's good. First tacos just arrived. <laughs> Maybe we should have bought more than two of each of these. This is the Pollo El Pastor. We got dos tacos al pastor and dos uh, pollo al pastor. So this is the chicken al pastor and it looks delicious. So we've heard yeah. here in Mexico yeah. that a lot of gringos will just take the taco and shove it to their face. The key is you have to tilt your head. You have to change the way that you're gonna eat the taco. So that al pastor is really good. I can taste the lime off the meat. It, the meat is really tender. You can taste each like ingredient in this taco, like between the onion and the cilantro and then the meat, it all just blends very nicely. And the other thing that they add on here is a little bit of pineapple. And that sweetness with the meat, oh, it's so good. This isn't spicy at all. If you wanted to add some spice, they provide you some, uh, some tubes of goodness, but right now it's tender, it's sweet, and uh, it's really good. We just ordered more. We're trying to face ourselves because we're supposed to go eat fish seafood tacos after this and then churros. 
We're sticking to Condessa today, but they're so good. We just ordered two more. So they're little, they're little tiny street tacos. We'll pace ourselves. We're walking a lot today, but each of the Taco El Pastor's are 21 pesos, so less than a dollar. Two Pollo El Pastor's are 67 pesos, so about a dollar a piece, but they come as a set of two. And then the horchata is 35 pesos, so about a dollar, and so is the Jamaica. Bargain, bargain lunch, good. So good, y'all. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm just gonna skip the plane on Friday to Brazil. We're just staying here and living on tacos. Pascadino Taqueria, and as you may guess, it's a seafood place, a seafood taco place. I heard this is one of the best places to try fish tacos in Mexico City. So we will see. So we got one fish taco, or pescado taco. I'm not sure what kind of fish it is, it's just pescado. And the other one is marla marlatoon, so marlin. And those are the two I heard you have to try here. I'll be honest guys, I am not a huge fish person. So I'm gonna try it. I'll eat it every now and then, but I think this is gonna be mostly on Chris. I'm gonna try this. It's not appealing to me. Look-wise, the Marlin one is not appealing to me. I'm gonna try it though. I don't know, something about it just doesn't sit right. It's good. Got some onion in there. It's fresh fish. You can tell it's fresh. Tastes like I hopped out of the ocean right in the stove. I mean, that tastes like it's a salt water, es water essence about that one. The flavor's a little, I don't even know how to say this. The flavor's kind of like a little dry, so it just needs something a little extra, but it's really good fish. Tortilla's very well, well done. I think it's an image thing. Just close my eyes and eat it and I'll be fine. It is good. I don't think I'd order it again just because I don't like fish, but I see why it was highly recommended. It does taste very fresh. Instantly fried meat is a lot easier to take in just because it doesn't look like it's original <laughs> context. I don't know what kind of fish that is. That's delicious. Being from the south, we like to deep fry everything. And this is really good deep fried fish. If you like fish tacos, eating things from the sea, this place could be for you. This is not our first time here at El Moro. This is our third time here in a month. <laughs> and each time we've gotten something different. The first time we got the traditional churros with the dipping chocolate. Uh, the hot, it's like hot dipping chocolate. The second time we both got churro ice cream sandwiches, which is way too much. Highly recommend, they're delicious, but it's a lot of food. Third time we tried to get the traditional and instead they ended up giving us red velvet. I'm sure they're gonna be delicious too, but moral story, anything you get here is gonna be good. It's a tradition. This is not the original location. The original one's over in Centro, like in the historic center of town area. Um, but this is a very popular location. It's beautiful, beautiful building, beautiful inside and out. And it's right next to the park. So it's pretty hard to beat. But we are gonna try some red velvet churros, which I did not know was a thing until about 30 seconds ago. Oh my gosh, look at all that sugar. You see the sugar a lot easier when they're red. That's not good. <laughs> Dare I? I like the original one better, but I don't taste much of a difference from the. Yeah, they're both good. I don't think they're taste. That's not crazy red velvety. It's a little richer. Can't put my finger on how. If you ever come to Mexico City, everybody knows El Moro. Like people say, oh, you got to go there. This is like one of the places to get churros. But you can get churros anywhere on the side of the street. I mean, they're practically coming out of the water faucets here. But this place has been known for churros for a long time, and that's why everybody points you to El Moro. Mexico City has so many amazing options for restaurants. So, do you have a favorite place that we didn't mention? Leave it in the comments below, and we'll add it to our list.
be sure to follow along on Instagram and like and subscribe here. It really helps creators like us.